It's just annoying, you know. That's that's the only thing I think about. It's just really annoying. There's a real backwardness when it comes to like um, nightlife culture in the UK in general. I don't think we kind of get it. We don't really support it in the same way other cities do. And we kind of like look down on it. It seems like for the most part, it's kind of seen as a bit of a scourge on society when, you know, the ho- especially in London, I think there should be, again, but I think it's the urban planning fault, right? There is a, the, the concentration of clubs in certain areas is a bit ridiculous, right? Dawson, Shortage being a good example. They're all in that same area and there's loads of houses in that area. I think what you should do is limit the amount of new houses that can be built in that area so that they don't have any right to like speak up and say, oh my God, the, the noise is too much because you know what you moved into, right? Um, and then kind of push the housing a little bit out on the outskirts. Or if you're going to build new housing, make sure it has adequate soundproofing so people don't complain. Um, um, but I can understand from a resident's point of view how annoying it must be to walk out of your house and just see piles of shit all over the floor. And I think I've actually got a good little link to it on the next topic that says it, which is this little article that I read in the Hackney Gazette, right? I've been balls deep in this, right? Because I'm fucking fighting. I want to be, be the next London nightmare. So this is, I'm fighting my case. So if you see this out there, any part of the Hackney Council, put me on board because I'm level-headed, right? I can see both sides of the coin. You know what I mean? Um, whose lyric is that? Someone's got something like that, right? See both sides of the coin, call me something. I don't know. Anyway, there's this really good article that I saw on the Hackney Gazette, which basically says the following. The big debate, both sides have their say on Hackney Council's new licensing policy which I thought was very interesting. It kind of interviewed residents and promoters and stuff and kind of got their opinion on stuff, which I thought was good. So I'll kind of read a bit of it now. Um, The best letter came from this guy who happens to be a musician. So he's kind of used to be involved in the culture and doesn't think he's a dullard, but also thinks there's a bit too much was happening in Hackney. So this guy, he's for the policy, right? So he thinks the policy is a good idea. And um, this, he raised the following. Musician Michael Goff or Go, 61, has lived in Charles Square for 17 years with his wife and four daughters. He has lived in Hackney all of his life. His council block is above the stretch of old street bars, including the road trip, workshop and bounce, which is, you know, that's just where, you know, just about where hell starts. The buildings used to be blocks of garages and tenants um, fought to keep them, but the town hall and then Hoxon councillor Philip Gnavo pulled the change. So this is, this is the issue that I have again. <coughs> this guy lives in this area. No trouble, no bars, enjoys his life. The council approves the new bars and clubs because they're going to bring money into the council. Then the people complain and then they change the licensing laws, which is going to take money away from the council. It's so counterintuitive, isn't it? But I guess for the council side of it, they'd rather have a bar than garages because a bar, even if it's going to close at 12, is going to make more money than a garage, isn't it? I guess so for the council, maybe. Anyway. Uh, Michael has a Facebook page for people in the blocks, 50 flats to post examples of antisocial behavior, the majority of which are videos of noise coming from the bars, including Last Days of Shoreditch. Snitch. Uh, Red Market, Last Days of Shoreditch is closing this weekend, but we've had six years of this noise. Um, this has this is built up residential area. It's okay having all these bars providing it's not a residential area, but if we're still get, getting sleep deprivation, it's not. I'm a musician myself, working in the nighttime economy. I don't know, it's a bit like saying I have black friends in it. Yeah. Are you, though, musician? Do you play the guitar in pubs on your own? Is that a musician? Um, there are a lot of flaws. There's no soundproofing. We have four bars underneath the block, which I have sympathy for. And it's a 1960s concrete building and the music resonates, which, again, I mentioned previously. If you stay in on the weekend, you don't get any sleep. It wasn't like this when we moved in, and it wasn't as manic. I don't think any other bar would put up with it. It's not... It's, uh, I know it's trendy, but people have to live here and go to work, which is interesting, right? If you sleep in or decide just to have a casual weekend in your own house away from work and shit, that must be horrible, right? Because your feet, it's like, um, I've noticed whenever there's festivals happening in the Stratford Park, um, that kind of, I don't know what festival, was it Elro or something? happening in Shepherd Park and another one that one where people splat you know white people go uh, white people go dressed in white and splat all the fucking powder all over them and they end up looking ridiculous that was in the Shepherd Park so you see a weird upsurge of people walking around the area right going towards these places like all dressed up in their festival gear girls in those kind of sparkly bra top things and jean shorts guys wearing those horrible s- fake silk um, flowery shirts, denim shorts, pulled up socks and vans. You see that look happening, right? People, like the, this whole like um, procession of people heading to festivals. Now imagine staying in on a weekend and you live on Old Street above a stretch of bars and it's, and it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You're consistently seeing these absolute dullards going out again and again and again. 
must be annoying, right? Especially when you over here the same set being played every weekend must be fucking frustrating. You probably can tell who's playing what. If you walked around here, you'd be in for a shock. As for the new policy, it's a good idea, but it should apply to existing bars as well. Everything needs to get cut off. Bloody hell, Michael doesn't give a fuck, does he, right? Um, everything needs to be cut off. Um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, what? When he continues, says, "What? What would I say to people complaining about the policy?" Try living here. Imagine if when they go home at 5 a.m. they don't get any sleep. How would they feel? It's all right being trendy. If you go home at 5 a.m. and people are partying too and you are out too, you're a bit of a dickhead to, to, to... What do you want? Everyone to stop to stop partying because you decided to get home at 5. Like, come on. That's a bit, that's a bit of a weird point there. It's all right being trendy, but when you walk out in the morning and your block is covered in urine, sick and broken glass, it's not nice. That's the point that I get. Right, waking up in the morning after you know you've you kind of slept in on a Friday night, um, or after work you kind of had an early one, you slept and you woke up on Saturday morning to go pick up some eggs or get some flour, I don't know, or get a paper. Why would you buy flour in the morning? I don't know. Ignore me. And then you kind of go open your door and it's just covered in fucking piss and shit. Like that must be annoying, especially when people use the the blocks, the inside of a block as a fucking public toilet. Um, it's all right being trendy. Da, da, da. You could say I'm miserable old sod, but unless you live here, you can't comment. There's that's there's not a right uh, there's not a night you can come home and sit down and watch TV without music coming from somewhere. People shouting and screaming, and when you go to sleep, you're worried about how and when you're going to be woken up. So you have got that constant, you know, what's that word called? Um, is it nervousness or whatever that is called? Anxiety. That's it. That you're gonna wake up again. People say, "Oh, why don't you just move?" They don't realize that we were here before the clubs and bars. Where do you go? interesting right we were here before right we were here before which is at the heart of the issue because unfortunately when it comes to metropolitan areas right the people that come in and bring the most energy the people that come in and revolutionize the city and give it another kick up the ass are the outsiders are the people that are on the fringes the hipsters right they come in with a new energy they see the fucking potential in london i always said most people that have made big changes in the fucking scene for the most part have come from the outskirts have come from like croydon like dumb parts of Wolves or Wolverhampton, Watford, Brighton, Birmingham. Then they've come down to London. They've kind of reaped the benefits of it. Us Londoners, like myself, have been lazy. Have not done anything, right? Do you know what I mean? Not one bar to his name, even though that's going out. Doesn't make any sense. Anyways, um, <laughs> um, they're the ones that come in and bring the new energy to a city, right? They're the ones that come in and give it a kick up the ass and kind of bring in some money, bring in tourists and shit. But then, uh, by the same hand as well, there's people that live here who are kind of resistant to the change as you know as is normal with human beings you know they don't want the change to happen maybe they want it to happen in in bits and spits and spurts but for the most part they don't and when it does it really 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 fucking annoys them especially when there's like a whole stretch of bars that open up overnight so like i said i think hacking counter something has a lot of blame um, at their feet too you know you can't approve bars to be opened up in a residential area with no soundproofing and then suddenly say oh i'm listening to your residents and then kind of like stop their licenses really early and fuck them over right 